Hello, it's Lisa here. So today um, I thought I would do something a little bit different and uh, it's quite time consuming to set up everything for a video and I find myself uh, not doing the video because it just uh, takes too much time and effort and, uh, and then the editing and everything. So I thought I would just maybe try to record this audio for you and just uh, Gonna have like a casual talk with you and I will try to put the link down below in the description box where you can download this audio and you can listen to it uh, anywhere you go. So I just uh, made my morning coffee, I already had breakfast and uh, in a few hours I'm gonna go out in the city but right now I have some time to just uh, talk with you uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna <laughs> what, what I'm gonna talk about uh, but anyway uh, I was just uh, going through my Tumblr questions and uh, and generally I already know what the people uh, want to ask me about like of course every question is a little bit different and everything but still the most people are worried about still I find is uh, about the weight gain or just the fear of weight gain and also about the extreme hunger and not feeling their normal hunger cues so I just want to talk about maybe those two subjects and yes the weight gain uh, the fear is so big in recovery uh, and you have to understand that uh, when you are being through eating disorder, then uh, your brain and the perception of your weight or the normal weight or even when you know that the low weight you had is not healthy for you. But just uh, like when you have been through eating disorder and you have done some specific behaviors, maybe for many months or many years or even decades then uh, your brain kind of gets used to your lower weight and the perception of your body and everything uh, changes when you have eating disorder and even logically as I said like you know it's unhealthy for you but still uh, after you start recovering you almost have to like reprogram your brain as well to feel okay with the new weight and the period of weight gain or just uh, unknowingness of what will happen to your weight. It's very scary. And uh, I just want to say that uh, there is not like something wrong with you or like you have to not feel anything or you have to not feel scared or um, yeah, it's kind of normal in recovery to be afraid of these kind of things and when you understand uh, how your brain changes as well in recovery and how uh, you get so uncomfortable and you have this fear in your mind like this is exactly the period when your brain and your body and every everything changes like feeling uncomfortable in recovery uh, and having this fear it's actually a good thing because uh, it says that you are changing you are doing something to not respond to your eating disorder you are trying to recover you are still eating more to get out of this uh, restriction and everything so feeling all of this uh, negative feelings in recovery and having your like fear foods and um, anyway you understand like feeling all these feelings uh, and feeling uncomfortable this is a sign that actually you are recovering you are changing and you are doing something to get better because when in recovery we feel comfortable we don't have any fears we are not um, uh, we don't have these like negative feelings or we are not worried about what happens to our body or something if you feel too comfortable in your recovery then it might be a sign that actually you are not changing much because your brain wants to keep you in this comfort zone 
and the brain's comfort zone means that you are just repeating the same old patterns you have repeated and this is why uh, when in recovery like I tell people it's good to eat uh, the minimal calorie guidelines the 2500 uh, calories or 3000 calories uh, and uh, this feels very uncomfortable to most people it feels scary uh, you are worried like what will happen to your body and your weight and everything uh, and people uh, like because they have been through eating disorder uh, they try to not go fully into recovery and they say that okay maybe I will increase my calories but uh, I can't eat more than 2000 calories and this is the kind of the brain comfort zone I'm talking about yes maybe if before you were eating 1500 calories yes eating like even 2000 calories it's gonna be better for you but still it's uh, like how your brain the old patterns in your brain trick you into kind of doing what's comfortable and not going into full recovery mode because your brain doesn't like change your brain like if it feels uncomfortable it means that we are shifted from our normal path and your brain tries to do whatever it can to shift you back into the old path the eating disorder path so in recovery by eating 2000 calories and not more even when you feel hungry this is your brain's way to uh, make you go to the old path and kind of keep you safe because your brain doesn't know that you are trying to recover and get healthy and uh, and like it's a positive change like your brain doesn't know the difference between uh, bad things and good things like if you had repeated some type of behavior the eating other behavior eating 1500 calories every day then this is the safe path for your brain to follow each day and now when you are trying to eat 2500 calories then your brain is like oh my god this is too much uh, we are way out of our comfort zone this is not safe so instead of going fully recover recovery mode you kind of go into the middle ground like 2000 calories or something so i really hope you get this idea what i mean and but once you understand this concept about your brain and how your brain is trying to keep you from full recovery and it tries to kind of keep the old eating other habits alive even just a little bit and one day you are maybe uh, we are maybe eating enough but then the next day you are panicking and you are going back to restriction then you have to just know like this is how your brain reacts to the change and but the thing is that as i said your brain doesn't know the difference between good things and bad things but consciously you have the you have the ability and choice right now to override your brain's old patterns and behaviors and uh, you can do it by like eating 2500 calories each day no matter if you feel scared or uncomfortable or not sure what happens and even when your brain sends these signals that oh my god something is wrong let's go back to eating like low amounts of calories this is not safe like if you understand like this is a, just like old brain junk this is old garbage from your brain this is like the eating other garbage and it will keep you stuck but uh, and but my point is that this is not real threat like eating more is not a real threat to your body and this is what you actually need to do to get healthy but your old eating other behaviors and brain wants to uh, seem 
like it's a real threat but actually it is not so yeah i hope you you understand what i mean uh yeah i just tried to explain it as best i can because if you yeah if you understand how your brain tries to fight uh, the change simply because how our brain is wired then actually it's way more easier to override uh, these habits because yeah you understand that they are just habits of your past habits of your eating disorder just uh, bullshit uh, garbage from your past and uh, you would just have to every day follow recovery and in time what happens is that eating enough becomes easier uh, your weight gain uh, and the perception of your body becomes more normal and you feel uh, not so anxious about uh, eating certain foods that maybe were your fear foods before. So over time, as long as you keep with the recovery, all of the uncomfortable feeling and feeling scared and um, feeling like something is wrong, it will kind of go away because your brain changes as you recover and you override the old behaviors and you replace it with new behaviors and then this is how full recovery is possible because uh, like when you when your once your brain changes the old patterns then it means that the new pattern the normal eating intuitive eating pattern is the easiest for your brain to follow and it doesn't make you go back to eating disorder anymore and this is how i am able to be fully recovered right now and i don't have triggers to uh, like every day i have to like watch my eating or i feel like i'm just gaining 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 or uh, this is how i feel like i'm fully recovered because i have changed my brain uh, old patterns the eating is other patterns anyway this was just like uh, rambling about weight and how uh, all of these fears about the weight uh, gain and also about the extreme hunger and everything uh, how over time everything will balance out and everything will just go away and you will be back to normal and this is how uh, like i want to explain why you have this fear when you are gaining weight and why you have this uh, fear of eating certain foods and why you have this uh, fear of eating more during recovery recovery even though your body is hungry so you're not doing anything wrong but just like why you have this fear in recovery and why you feel so uncomfortable and this is uh, yeah i will repeat myself this is basically because your brain is used to the old eating other patterns and you simply for recovery you have to override these patterns but this means that for a period of time in recovery you will have to get uncomfortable and you have to feel scared but keep on going anyway and then over time your brain changes and the patterns change and you will become more recovered uh, everything seems more normal and easy and this is how you return to being a normal person with no eating disorder anymore and you can keep this way for the rest of your life because you have forever changed your brain pattern and um, yeah so yeah i think i will finish it right now uh, yes so if you have any questions, you can call my Tumblr and every month I try to answer uh, some of your questions about recovery. And also if you haven't yet signed up for my free uh, six step uh, video course, how to recover from an eating disorder, then you can do it. I will provide the link down below and you can also download uh, the link for this audio down below. And yes, yeah, so I hope you like this audio a little bit something different and uh, I hope I will make a video very soon as well. So yeah, thank you for listening and see you very soon.